uh, Navy has confirmed that uh, there has been a drone strike on an oil tanker. Um, well, my my came Pluto has been hit by um, drone off the Gujarat coast. Navy says. Uh, will establish direction of attack soon. I beg your pardon, it, uh, the name of uh, the ship is MV Came Pluto. It's been uh, hit by drone off Gujarat coast. My colleague Vishnu Shom uh, joins me for more on that story. Vishnu, what has really happened? Could you tell us more on that story? Well, Rika, this is a ship which was struck uh, more than 24 hours back uh, by a drone. It was uh, 400 kilometers off the coast of, of India, approximately 830 kilometers south of, let us say, Iran. In other words, very much in the south of the Arabian Sea, pretty much in, in no man's land, as it were. Uh, it was struck by a drone. Uh, there's a massive, as these images, uh, which I uh, think you are broadcasting now, show you there's a massive gash in the stern of the ship, uh, and there is significant damage which has been caused. Initially, the ship was unable to proceed uh, because of um, electrical problems, but subsequently, using her own power, she was able to sail. She was escorted by an Indian Navy destroyer and uh, the Indian Coast Guard uh, uh, vessel Vikram as well, and she's finally made her way to Mumbai. She reached Anchorage at Mumbai sometime today, uh, and uh, on her arrival, the Indian Navy's explosive ordnance disposal teams inspected the vessel and made a preliminary assessment of the type and nature of the attack, an analysis of this attack, uh, of the area of the attack, and the debris found on the ship points to a drone attack, is what the Navy says. However, further forensic and technical analysis will be required to establish the vector of the attack, in other words, the direction of the attack, including type and amount of explosive used. So at this juncture, we don't know where that drone came from, um, as I mentioned, it's uh, far, far away from areas where the Houthis uh, in, uh, in the area of Yemen, which they control, uh, you know, would, would have a drone likely to actually fire a weapon like this. If uh, this drone was launched from a ship, then it raises an entirely new uh, sort of threat. Uh, but all of this is quite unnerving because it has a huge impact to right. shipping, which is coming into India, mm -hmm. and, of course, uh, the potential loss of lives as well. We've seen multiple attacks now in the Red Sea, mm -hmm. and now this attack, the furthest away from Houthi areas that we are aware of. 